Welcome to Crime Files of Crime Stoppers of El Paso. Join me as we take a look at the 1989 murder case of 23-year-old Stephen Michael Hicks, who was murdered in an East El Paso industrial area. We started investigating this cold case, or me, um, about 10 years ago. This happened on the 9th of April of 1989. Uh, at 2 in the morning, passing a passerby, a motorist uh, found the body of our victim, Stephen Hicks. Uh, lying in the roadway at the uh, 1300 block of Don Haskins. He had, been, he had been beaten to death, that's what the autopsy showed. It was a severe beating. Uh, we, we did not find a weapon. Earlier in the evening, he was at a, a Bull El Paso with his sister and the sister's husband. They were having a good time there. Well, at the end of the evening, uh, he, uh, he dropped his sister and her husband off at their home. And then he made a brief stop at his, uh, at his apartment where he was living with his roommate. So uh, his name was Floyd Oglesby. Floyd told the investigators, I heard him, I heard him come home. He had taken a pill of some sort and he was out, he was sleeping. I heard him come home and I, I heard him, I heard the door and then he left again. Uh, he was just there brief, a brief moment, uh, not very long. That was uh, maybe shortly after midnight. So we're going into the 9th of April, 1989 now. At approximately one o'clock, a truck driver who was uh, working out there in this truck yard, in one of these trucking yards out there, saw a vehicle matching Stephen's description about a mile from where eventually the crime scene uh, was gonna be. This area is now an industrial area. It was back then. It, it was more deserted or more secluded back then. Uh, it was a uh, an area that was known as Cherry Hill, and there was a lot of parties going on and bonfires and drug use and that type of thing out there in that desert area. But the beating again, very brutal, very very brutal. Um, uh, he was a very he was a pretty stout, big person. Uh, so investigators believed that that uh, that this was not one single person. It really does appear that this was not just one person. Because of the way the crime scene was, he was beaten down from behind. He was apparently focused on something in front of him, but he was attacked from behind. So I think there's a group of people. I'm hoping, because of what I mentioned about this area out there, that it's, you know, it was a big party area with, original investigators told me that there was at, at any one time on a weekend, hundreds of people out there, that, that somebody might have witnessed this and just never came forward. And during the original investigation, the Crime Stopper tip came in and um, that pointed to a possible connection with the bowling alley. That there might have been, there might have been some kind of meeting, some kind of initial, not maybe not confrontation, but contact Somebody at the bowling alley. My hope is that uh, somebody will come forward and, and help us solve this after now it's been 31 years. Thank you for watching and remember if you have information on the murder of Stephen Michael Hicks, you will remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers of El Paso at 566-8477 or via our website crimestoppersofelpaso.org.